hello everyone this is melanie from melanie b's creative studio and we're going to look at a diamond painting from fg normal today so the one that i chose is this one which you know is like life to me i mean all of this rainbow goodness sunset coastal all of it put together is just fabulous in the kit it comes with our piece of like jelly wax a little green tray and our typical pink uh, diamond drill pen there's also this adapter which is one of my favorite things especially when working with a square drill piece this is for pushing your squares and straightening them up so you're going to push it into the back of your drill pin. But then when you're putting on square drills, you use it to nudge and to make sure they're straight. So that is one of my favorite things to see in a diamond painting kit. And I know it seems simple, but it is so handy, especially when it's on the back of the drill pin like this, that you can just place those squares and then move them into place wherever they need to be. Now you'll see that this has a clear protective layer and I'm gonna knock my paintbrushes off. Um, and it is very sticky. So it's got a really nice quality tack. If you get close, you can see that the schematic is very easy to read. Very easy to distinguish between codes and symbols. We have our color scheme or our color code or schematic, whatever you wanna call it. I usually call it the color schematic over here on this side, and we have 27 fabulous colors in this piece. So it's got some of the most gorgeous colors in a diamond painting. So let's look at those drills. Look at the range of corals, pinks, blues, purples, oranges, reds, pur I mean like every color of the rainbow that you can imagine. And it is, like I said, a square drill, and it's also a full canvas. So for those of you who are not familiar with what that means, there's adhesive on in the entire artwork. So it's not a partial drill, which means we would just be getting the drills to do the trees or something like that, and we wouldn't have any in the background. This will be full of drills once it's completed. So I think I want to go ahead and test out the sparkle of the drills. And let's go ahead and do that. Square drills, I know I've said it a million times, but square drills don't have as many facets as round drills, uh, but I have seen some very sparkly square drills lately. So I'm not too concerned about whether it's gonna have enough sparkle or not. All right, so let's do a section that's kind of here in the camera, very easy to see. And so this is schematic code F, which is going to be number nine in our bags of drills. Usually I have a pair of scissors nearby when I do a diamond painting, just to open these little bags. So I don't have to sit here and try to tear them open. Whoops, well I know I'm not doing that many drills today. <laughs> okay. I don't see any little clear Ziploc bags, but actually I'm gonna switch to a tray that's got a funnel so that when I'm done, I can funnel it back into that package. I have so many here. Okay, what a fabulous color. Try not to sling them all over the place. This little tray I had nearby. All right, that's as good as I'm gonna shake it. I'm not gonna try to sit here and shake it for 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and kind of start in a random place because I wanna show you this pink. So let's get our wax or our jelly. Some people call it jelly. I it It's a wax, but it does have a kind of a different texture than a regular wax. So I'm not sure what's in it. I've never really been that concerned with what was in it to, to look and see, but it is more like a jelly type of feeling. 
All right, so I'm gonna do this section. I will time lapse this for us. Let's go. All right, so I just did that little small rectangular area. And the sparkle is really nice. Even though this is a square drill, it's got really nice facets to it and it catches the light beautifully. So you'll notice I was using this little tool to nudge and kind of get these squares lined up. When I try to be quick about a square drill, I'm inevitably going to have drills that aren't perfectly square. But I'm gonna tell you something, when you're done, if even though this little section may not be completely perfect, no one will notice if the overall piece is completed nicely. They're not gonna see this one little section and go, oh, she must have been in a hurry when she did that. And if they do, you tell them to get out of your house. You don't need that kind of negativity. All right. <laughs> As always, I'm really impressed with the FD Normal uh, diamond paintings. And I'm gonna tell you, another thing that makes them appealing is that they're a good quality and they're also very affordable. So for those of you who are starting out maybe as a diamond painter, I suggest you try one from a place like FG Normal. And that way you're not spending a ton of money on it. You're getting something that's very good quality. And that way you don't feel like you've invested in this project that you may not like. So that is all for this piece today. And you guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up for my video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Join me on Patreon and Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. And thanks as always for watching. I will see you guys back soon.